Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2022, on this May 13th, Hallelujah, Friday morning, to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for every wonderful opportunity. With thankfulness from our heart, let us worship and praise Him. Hallelujah, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Last full morning, our Lord protected us. Let us lift a hand and thank Him. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Last night for the good sleep He gave us. Let us tell our Lord, thank you. Let us lift a hand and worship Him. Hallelujah, Father, thank you. With good health and happiness, the Lord who woke us up for His grace and mercy. Father, thank you. This morning, our Lord who is wonderfully leading us for His grace and mercy. Tell Him, thank you, Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Today's church meeting, our Lord who is blessing it. Father, let us tell Him, thank you. You who made us more glorious and great for your faithfulness. Let us thank Him. Let us worship and praise Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father, for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you, Father, for your, when we remember your grace towards us, we tell you, thank you. The psalmist is saying in Psalms 77, verse number 11, I will remember the works of the Lord. Surely I will remember your works of old. I will also meditate on all your work and talk of your deeds. Your way, O God, is in the sanctuary. Who is so great a God as our God? You are the God who does wonders. You have declared your strength among the peoples. You have with your arm redeemed your people, the sons of Jacob and Joseph. Let us close our eyes and together pray. Let us all be engaged in prayer. Let us not be disturbed, but with one mind pray. Dear Heavenly Father, together in one unity in the name of Jesus, this morning we are looking onto thy face. All who have looked onto your face have not been put to shame. Your word says so. And in faith, we are looking onto your face. This morning, Father, thank you for your compassion towards us. Father, we pray for all who are hearing this voice today. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for them. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Last night, for giving us a good sleep. Thank you. For the morning you have given to us and protected us. Thank you. And this morning, for holding your hand and for God's grace and mercy, we tell you, thank you, Father. Lord Jesus, Father, in everyone's need, let your grace prevail. Father, all who are sick this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Let them be healed. Whatever kind of sickness it is. Father, as your children are hearing the power of thy healing, let it prevail upon them in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God that healeth your children. As your children are hearing this voice today, let it prevail upon them. Miraculous healing, O oh Father. Miraculous healing, we declare it upon them. Whatever kind of sickness it is, be healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, all who are going through financial difficulty, deliver them. Open ways for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the situation be favorable for them. The hand of the Lord that is performing for them, we tell you thank you. Father, we pray for all who are requested for prayer. Bless them, Father. Lord Jesus, we give Middle East into thy hands. Let your grace be revealed in every meeting, we pray. Father, fill us with your presence and glory, your mighty works. Father, thank you for you are doing it amongst your people. Father, we give our worship into thy hands for the great things that you are doing in the midst of us. We tell you thank you for your miracles that are being revealed. We tell you thank you. Let your name alone be glorified. Father, we thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Let the glory of the Lord, let the peace of the Lord, the joy of the Lord, the presence of the Lord. Fill each one of you as you hear this voice. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ and let the Lord bless you abundantly this day. Today further we are going to meditate from James chapter 4 verse number 8. James 4 8. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Hallelujah. According to how we draw near to God, our Lord draws near to us. The beautiful word, what we read over here. So in our life, how much ever you can be closer to God, that much 
you should be close to him for that is a great blessing in our life whenever you get an opportunity what we have to plan is how we can draw near to him when we get a chance to pray pray when you get a chance to meditate meditate the word when you get a chance to worship worship the lord many times god will prepare for us probably it might be a time you have lost your job probably it might be a time when all have gone away from you probably you might be in a situation where you are alone whatever it is in all these times what should be our desire our desire should be that we have want to draw closer to god and if you have that desire you would be greatly blessed the epistles are written for the believers in the book of james chapter 4 hallelujah it says so whether it is written for all the people who are scattered abroad who believe in god and when we ro- read from james 4 4 says adulterers and adulteress do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with god we cannot love the world and love god together when we love the world who are we becoming we are becoming enemy with god don't you know that when you go before the desires of the world the world has got its own trend and if you go behind that you will not be enjoy the love of god and experience him can you serve two masters at the same time the word of the lord has written in that same way the desires of the world the lust of the world the lust of the flesh all these are of the world The worldly man has got their own desires, their likes, their interests, going behind that, loving all that. If you do it, with whom are you being enemy with? You're being enemy with God. Only if you go far from the things of the world, can you draw near to God? Everyone together say that only if I draw away from the world can I love God. You cannot love the enemy and a friend. The things of the world. makes enemy with god how to make money i'm not saying you should not have money but the desire the lust the interest we should dedicate too much to make money makes you with enemy with the god we have not been called to follow things of the world or to live according to the system of the world but according to the system of god that is why it says whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of god so the love for the world makes us draw far away from god and if you desire to love the world who are we becoming we are becoming an enemy of god so what is it that you need today do you want the love of the world or love of god do you want to draw nearer to the world or nearer to god if you draw near to the world you will go far away from the lord hallelujah or do you think that the scripture says in vain the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealousy and he gives more grace therefore he says god resists the power but gives grace to the humble therefore submit to god those who are those who are proud god resists them but those who are humble closer to them he gives them the grace and blesses them therefore submit to god the moment we were born again the moment we submitted ourselves to god it says therefore submit to god what does that mean for the res- desires of this world when the world is enticing you without falling into the things of the world child of god be submissive to god's love be submissive to god's thoughts be submissive to god's word that is what the holy spirit is telling to us over here so what is it saying over here move away from the world and submit to god resist the devil hallelujah when the devil tries to bring so many things into our life he might put oh you have got this entertainment why why do you want to go to worship the lord many times the devil will try to res- will tempt you but what is it that we have to do resist him so look as per the word of the lord is it what i'm doing right the word of the lord is always right so that day when we follow the word of the lord we are submitting to god and resisting the devil and when many times it keeps repeatedly happening like this the devil will understand that he cannot put you into failure any more or tempt you anything but because adam and eve did not resist the devil that they failed over there the devil asked did god really tell you like that and started tempting them that is how they fell into it even doubting god 
So when you resist the devil, he will flee from you. But instead, if you if you start conversing with the devil and follow what you are saying, what he is saying, you will fall into his temptation. So the Holy Spirit is telling to us today, the enemy who is around us will try to entice you with many things through people, through advertisements, through your dear ones. So what is it that we have to do? Resist him. Look in the word of God. Look at Jesus when he was being tempted in the wilderness. When devil tried to bring a lot of things before Jesus Christ, Jesus addressed the devil with the word of the Lord, according to the word of the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus said. So, and the devil ran away from him. So, when we are living in this world, let your base be the word of God. Let your base be the presence of God and resist the devil. And what will he do? He will flee from you. And then it says, draw near to God. When you live according to the word of God, when you live on the basis of God, when you order your life according to the word of God, you are drawing nearer to God. And then what happens? He will draw near to you. That experience, when you are submissive to God, when you are submissive to the word of God, and when you do that, more grace is being poured upon you and you are being drawing more closer to him. Hallelujah. When the person draws them more closer to sun, the heat of the sun becomes more stronger. In that same manner, when you draw closer to God, the presence of God, the fragments of God, the healing of God, the power of God will come upon you. So for a child of God, you have been called to enjoy God. But many a times you lost it. You cannot enjoy it because you follow the desires of the enemy. You desire for things of the world and you run after all these things and what God desired for you, you cannot receive it, you cannot enjoy it. So you should have the love of God inside of you. Draw near to him and he will draw near to you. So this morning take a decision. I don't want things of the world but I want what the word of the Lord says. I want to live accordingly and when you take such a decision, you are resisting the devil and you are drawing closer to God and to live a life in this manner, let the Lord help us and bless us. Hallelujah. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed and highly favored. We will increase. We will grow. We will multiply and we will become great. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today with this mighty wonderful words of his. God bless you. Hallelujah.